Hi everyone, today we're going to study the ellipse with center at HK and major axis is parallel to Y axis. Let us first define ellipse. An ellipse is the set of all points in a plane such that the sum of its distances from two fixed points in the plane is constant. The fixed points are called foci, plural of focus, of the ellipse. Here we have two points arranged vertically. And we have the ellipse here. The line through these two foci is sometimes called focal axis. This is the line. The point on the focal axis midway between the foci is the center. In our figure, this is the center. The points where the ellipse crosses its focal axis are the vertices. We have two vertices. This is the first and this is the second. The line segment joining the two vertices is called major axis. This line segment in red is the major axis. The line segment through the center perpendicular to major axis terminating at the ellipse is called minor axis. This line segment in green is the minor axis. The eccentricity denoted by E of a curve tells us the amount of roundness of that curve. Take note that eccentricity of circle is zero. The eccentricity of parabola is 1. The eccentricity of ellipse is between 0 and 1. And this is the symbol that we will see in the books. Remember, a small eccentricity indicates that the ellipse tends towards being circular, whereas an eccentricity close to 1 indicates that the ellipse is elongated. Let us now study the properties of ellipse with center at HK and major axis is parallel to Y axis. First, let us draw the X and Y axis. Now, here is the ellipse with center at HK. Let us first plot the vertices. The first vertex is here, denoted by V, and the second is denoted by V prime. We know that the line segment connecting the vertices is called the major axis. We let the value 2A to be the length of the major axis. So we can write now the coordinates of the vertices. This V has coordinates H, comma, K plus A, while the V prime is H, comma, K minus A. Next is the minor axis. The endpoints are the points B and B prime. We set the length of the minor axis to be 2B. By then, we can now write the coordinates of the endpoints of the minor axis as H plus B comma K and H minus B comma K respectively. Next are the foci. This is the first focus. This is the second 
and these are denoted by f and f prime respectively. The line segment connecting the foci is assigned to be 2c. So we can now write the coordinates of the foci to be h comma k plus c and h comma k minus c respectively. Now let us pick one point of the ellipse. Let's say this point here. We denote this by P with coordinates x, y. By definition of the ellipse, the distance of this FP, which means one focus to that moving point P, and added to the distance of the second focus to the moving point is always equal. So this is equal to K. Now, the standard equation of the ellipse with center at HK and major axis is parallel to Y axis is here. That is the square of X minus H over B square plus the square of y minus k over a square equals 1. Take note that this a square is bigger than b square. Note also that the derivation of this equation is presented in the other video. Now, the latus rectum. We have two Lateral recta. The length of latus rectum, denoted by LLR, equals 2B square over A. It means we can now write also the coordinates of the endpoints of each latus rectum. For the first latus rectum, the endpoints are H plus or minus B square over A comma k plus c. Here are the points. These points in green. For the second latus rectum, the endpoints are h plus or minus b square over a, comma k minus c. Here are the points. Now the eccentricity denoted by E equals C over A. Now let us see this example. Sketch the graph. This is the equation. Find the center, vertices, and points of minor axis, foci, length, and endpoints of latus rectum, and eccentricity. First, let us write the standard equation. Now, for letter A, we will take the center. That is the HK. From here, since this is plus 1, the H is negative 1. And for the K, this is minus 6, so we write the positive 6. So the center is negative 1, 6. Next are the vertices. Here we have two denominators. So the bigger denominator is the a square. So we write here a square equals 25. We can solve for a by taking the square root of this equation. Thus, the value of a equals 5. It means to say the vertices are 5 units above or below the center. So the coordinates of the vertices are V, that is negative 1, 11, and V prime, negative 1, 1. Next are the endpoints of minor axis. The other denominator is the B square, and that is equal to 9. We can find the value of B by taking the square root of this equation. 
So B equals 3. It means the endpoints of minor axis are 3 units to the right or left of the center. So the coordinates of the endpoints are B with coordinates 2, 6 and B prime with coordinates negative 4, 6. Next are the foci. We can solve this using the Pythagorean relation A square equals B square plus C square. We can take the values of A square as 25 here and B square as 9 here. Substituting the values, we have now 25 equals 9 plus C square. Isolating C square, the 9 will be transposed to the left. So we will have 25 minus 9. The difference of this is 16. And this is equal to C square. We take the square root of this equation. The value of C is derived. The value of C equals 4. The foci are 4 units above or below the center. So the coordinates are F with coordinates negative 1, 10 and F prime with coordinates negative 1, 2. Next, this is the length of latus rectum. Our formula is here and this is equal to 2B square over A. Substituting the values, we have 2 times 3 square over 5. When we simplify the numerator, we have 18 and this is divided by 5 and the value is 3 Point six. Letter F are the endpoints of latera recta. It means from the value length of latus rectum, it means to say that the endpoints of latera recta are 1.8 units to the right or left of the respective foci. So the coordinates of the endpoints of the first latus rectum are 0 0.8 comma 10 and negative 2.8 comma 10 while the endpoints of the second latus rectum are 0 0.8 comma 2 and negative 2.8 comma 2 the last is the eccentricity denoted by E and this is equal to C over A. Substituting the values, we have 4 over 5. Now here is the graph of our ellipse. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.